Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary, Maury Amsterdam, Larry Matthews, and Mary Tyler Moore. Where do you want to go? To the bedroom? No, just let me off of the couch. Okay. <gasps> Thank you. Okay, I'll get the rest of the bags. Millie! Laura! Uh, I saw your bags lying in the driveway, and so I wanted to act like a good neighbor. You want them, don't you? Oh, yeah, thanks. I'll get the rest of them. What are you doing up so late? Never mind that. What are you doing home so early? You're not supposed to be back till tomorrow night. Well, let's just say things didn't work out too well. Oh, you and Rob have a fight? No, Millie, we didn't have a fight. I'll start unpacking. You did have a fight, didn't you? No, we didn't. We just looked like we did. <laughs> well, I don't get it. You make all these arrangements to spend a romantic weekend at a Millie, beautiful hotel. I know what we planned. Well, did you at least see the show? You didn't see the show. Rob lost the tickets and you had a fight. Rob didn't lose the tickets. Well, then why'd you have a fight? We didn't have a fight. <laughs> and we didn't see the show and we didn't have a beautiful dinner served in our beautiful suite. Well, what did you do? Well, Rob spent most of his time running around the room, she talking spent, on the telephone. She spent most of her time sitting in the bathtub. In the bathtub? In the bathtub. Well, is it something you can't tell me? No, as a matter of fact, it's something that most people would probably find very amusing. I suppose I will, too, someday, some month when the throbbing stops. <laughs> What's throbbing? Something throbbing? What is it? What is it? Well, the whole thing is so stupid. Well, okay, I promise not to laugh. You know, you can laugh if you want to. Come on, you and Rob went down to the hotel. Well, we drove down to the hotel and we checked in and... Oh, Millie, I was so pleased. That suite was so beautiful. And everything was just gonna be so lovely. Oh, Rob, isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's all right. I'll hang this one in the closet for you, sir. Thank you. Darling, don't you like this place? Well, I think it's all right. I would have preferred something a little more elegant and expensive. Even more expensive, we'd have to postpone Richie's orthodonture. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> you don't care that your son's back teeth don't mesh? Let him eat soup. <laughs> this baby. Well, uh, darling, what about the bellboy? You first. <laughs> If you want the air conditioning on, uh, this is the control. <laughs> oh, that's the control. That's wonderful. <laughs> oh, uh, there you are. Thank you, sir. And, uh, congratulations. Uh, thank you. And thank you, darling. For what? For making our second honeymoon look like our first. I didn't do that. You did. Me? Yeah, that fertile youth of yours. Uh, You're younger every year. Thank you. <laughs> Isn't this a spiffy place? Oh, <laughs> you feel that carpet in you so sick. Oh, darling, this is so much fun. How come we never did this before? Because we never could afford it before, that's why. <laughs> but just stick with me, baby. We're going to make your parents eat their words. What words were those? Rob Petrie's a bum. He's never going to amount to anything. Oh. When did they say that? Last night. <laughs> They're absolutely right, but we haven't seen my parents for a month. Well, I dreamt it. Is uh, that the dream you said you couldn't tell me about? No, that's the one I could. Aaron. <laughs> well, uh, don't you want to hear the cast of my other dream? Not interested. <clears throat> wow! We where'd you get that? The hardware store. <laughs> Boy, honey, do you know where to shop? <laughs> hey, how about this plan? I call down, I get hors d'oeuvre and champagne. We have that now and save dinner for after the show. That would depend on the hors d'oeuvre. Pate and wine, caviar, champagne, cornflakes and bananas, you name it. Uh, caviar and champagne. You got it. Show your folks what kind of bum I am. Hello, room service. Hello there. I'd like an order for two, please. One soft boiled egg for two. Oh. A half order of buttered toast. And look, you charge for a marmalade. Well, then forget that. I don't get marmalade. Then I'm leaving. <laughs> Hello. Hi there. Hey, this is Sweet 17C. I like room service. Yes, 
Uh, I'd like an order for two, please. Some hors some caviar, and a good bottle of champagne. January 1965, very good. <laughs> oh, and uh, one rose. Thank you. Oh, Rob. Did you want a rose, too? <laughs> Even a soft-boiled egg would taste elegant in this place. Oh, now you tell me. Well, they've got some neat places in this room. You no, know, darling, sometimes... <laughs> sometimes I'm glad I married you. And what about the other times? I suffer. <laughs> you know what I'd like to do? Soak in a hot tub. How'd you know? But you said it in the car about ten times on our way down here. Uh, do I have enough time before the show? Oh, you got time to get your toes pruny. Good. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. Don't get lonely. I'll go ahead and start unpacking. Hey, uh, honey, uh, how shall I uh, dress for the champagne hour? Uh, oh, uh, David Nivenish, you know, smoking jacket, ascot. <laughs> oh, and see if you can grow a mustache. Gotcha. Mark. <laughs> Mustache, uh, bathing in air. Uh, put him on the. Thank you. Uh, you need a little more on this side. <laughs> This is it. Just because you happen to be a married woman and I'm your husband with a very jazzy mustache, there's no reason for you. <laughs> I've uh, got some fruit for you. Compliments of the manager. Oh, uh, fine. Just uh, put them on the table there, yes, will you? Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh. Here you are. Uh. You, you are Mr. Petri, aren't you? Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You didn't have a mustache when I brought you up here. Well, uh, yeah, of course, of course I had a mustache. Oh, no, there. sir. You know, I, I'm studying to be a house detective, and I remember things like mustaches and beards and false teeth, scars, moles. I, I don't remember that mustache. <laughs> well, then you better keep uh, studying, huh? <laughs> you painted it on. Well... Yeah. <laughs> Why, sure. He painted it on. I know I wasn't crazy. <laughs> Rob! Yes, your loveliness. Huh? Would you come in here for a minute? Your wish is my command, sweetheart. Don't toy with me, you saucy wench. <laughs> Darling, can't you open the door? Uh, it's locked, honey. If you want me, you'll have to get out of the tub. <laughs> I can't. 
Why can't you? Because I'm stuck. <laughs> stuck? How can you be stuck in a bathtub? Well, darling, if you'll come in, I'll show you. <laughs> well, Call somebody. Well, yeah, honey, I will. Well, Linda, how can you be stuck in a bathtub? Is it that narrow? <laughs> Now, wh how can your foot be stuck, honey? Huh? Bob, I'm very uncomfortable. Well, all right, honey, just take it easy. I'll, I'm going to call somebody. Hello? Hello, listen, who would, who would I talk to to unlock a bathroom door? Well, will, you, will you connect me, please? What time is it? Uh, t uh, 25 minutes to 8. Oh, hello? Uh, yes, it is, 25 minutes to 8. You're welcome. <laughs> That's all right. This is suite 17C. Look, could you send up a key to unlock a bathroom? What? No, my wife uh, locked herself in there. No, not not against me. It was an accident. <laughs> and she can't. No, she can't because she's stuck in a tub. <laughs> I am not sure. I, I, can you just send somebody up here? Thank you very much. Honey, the housekeeper's going to send a maid up here with a key. How do you feel? Wet and stupid. Hey, Honey, what is your foot stuck in? The faucet. The, the faucet? You know, the little pipe that the water comes out of. Well, that's, uh, that's not the faucet, honey. Rob, I don't care what you call it. My big toe is stuck in it. Well, how, how, did you, how did you do it? I was playing with a grip. What? <laughs> Does it hurt? Ruin our whole evening. Oh, honey, don't think about that. It's, you're not going to ruin it. Oh, the maid's here with a key. Come in. Good evening, sir. Your champagne and caviar. Yeah, I forgot about that. Tell her we need some towels. It's not the maid, honey. It's a, it's the champagne. Shall I open it for you now, sir? Uh, I don't know. You better, honey. We won't have time. What? Nothing. Uh, uh, just leave it, and I'll. Uh... Oh, yeah. Sign that, dear. Uh, oh, well, I forgot. <laughs> what is that, 15%? There we are. Oh, please hurry. I'm starting to look like a prune. <laughs> Did she say she wanted prunes? No, no. <laughs> is that the maid? No, honey, that was just the waiter. Well, where's the stupid maid with a key? <laughs> She's right here, honey. <laughs> Well, we had a stupid maid once. <laughs> Didn't seem to work. Darn! What is it? Well, the key doesn't work, honey. Uh, may I? Yeah, I don't think that's the right key. It's the right key. Apparently it isn't. It has to be. Rob, what's the matter? Well, we got the wrong key. It's the right key. <laughs> and dearie, would you try jiggling the doorknob? <laughs> I can't reach the doorknob. Why not? She's stuck. May I please? <laughs> Look, why can't your wife open the door from the other side? Because she's stuck in the tub. She calls me stupid. <laughs> How could she do that? Well, what difference does it make? She did it, and she, we have to get her out. Look, are you sure that's the only key? That's it, Ace. <laughs> Uh, what am I supposed to do, bust the door down? Well, if you do, they're going to charge you for it. I'm going to call the engineer. You keep jiggling that key. Hello. I said, may I have the engineer, please? Maybe you got the key in upside down, darling. I know how to use a key, dearie. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is Suite 17C. Engineer, could you come up uh, here and see if you can open a locked bathroom door for us? No, no, the housekeeper sent up a maid with the wrong key. It's the right key. It's your door. It's not my door. Well, when you bust it down, it will be. <laughs> Look, I got beds to turn down. Oh, just a minute. Turn them down. I've got the engineer now. Hello. Boy, she gets stuck in the bathroom. He paints on mustaches. They're a great match. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, no, wait. How soon can you get up here? What? Yeah, well, I'll just bet you my emergency's a little bigger than your emergency. I got a lady stuck in a bathtub. What do you got? <laughs> oh, yeah, I see. Well, look, if somebody has come up here very shortly, I want to bust down the door. They'll charge you for it. So let them. <laughs> Honey, I just spoke to the engineer. And? 
Well, he's got a more urgent emergency than having a toe stuck in a, in a uh, thing. What's he got? People stuck in an elevator. <laughs> Honey, how do you feel? Waterlogged. Well, why don't you let the water out of the tub? It's too chilly in here. Well, what, can you put your robe on? No, can't reach it. Well, how, can you, how about draping some towels around you? What towels? Laura, I'm going to bust down the door. Oh, Rob, isn't that kind of drastic? You want to get out, don't you? Well, not at the expense of a broken husband. I'm not going to break myself. But it's a very heavy door. I know, but that doesn't make any difference, honey, if you hit it right. But, Rob, you'll hurt yourself. No, no, honey. No way to hurt myself. There's a technique to these things. <laughs> I wish I knew what it was. <laughs> Well, so did you finally get the door open? Millie! Oh, of course he did. You wouldn't be sitting there if he didn't. Right. <laughs> well, how did you do it? Did you break it down like in the movies? Dramatic? It was more dramatic than that. What did you do? Did you shoot the lock off with a gun? Did you tell her? You're kidding. <laughs> no, he's not. You shot the lock off? That's just what I did. Well, did they charge you? I mean, how'd you do that? Well, the engineer didn't come, and I figured the Lord soaked in that tub about long enough. All right, honey, brace yourself. I'm coming through. Rob, be careful. I'll be all right, honey. Here I come. Go, Rob! <laughs> what? Her, what? Don't break it down. Did you get your toe out? No, but there's a full-length mirror on this side of the door. <laughs> <laughs> so? So, Rob, if you ram the door open, it'll smash right against a heavy brass towel rack, and it'll fly all over the place. Honey, is there a, a, a bath mat next to the tub? Yeah, a small one. Why? Yeah. Well, take it and put it over and cover as much of you as you can and duck down. But I'll drown. Not that far down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rob, I'm afraid. Don't be, honey. And we're going to get to the theater in time for the overture. Are you ready? No. But go ahead and please be careful. I will. You got your bath mat on? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hit it yet? <laughs> no, it's a, it's just a practice shot, honey. I'll... All right, honey, this time I'm going to give it a real shot if you're covered. Covered. Okay. <laughs> something give that time. <laughs> right there. I think one, I think one more time's gonna do it. All right. You covered? Covered. Okay. in there? You jarred the mirror off the door. <laughs> Did it break? I mean, well, I mean, it fall in the tub. No, I, I don't think so. No, no, it's all on the floor. Okay, then I'm going to give it another try. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> <laughs> what is it this time? Darling, if you break it down, you're liable to fly through it and fall on the broken glass and cut yourself. I'll <laughs> take my chances. I'm coming in. Now, don't Stop. scream. Nobody's going to get hurt. Please, don't. Stop screaming. Now I'm coming in. Oh, 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 hey, oh, 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 you? The house detective. See, there's the phony mustache. He's a nut. Hey, now, wait just a minute, mister. Get away from that door, or I'll blow you up. And he's not kidding. What's going on? It's all right, madam. Everything's under control. Just don't come out for a minute or two. She can't come out. What have you done to her? Well, I tied her up. Oh. <laughs> You'll regret that. Oh, you. What? Craziness! All right, craziness. Lie down on the floor. What? You heard him? Watch him. Everything's all right, madam. We've got him under control. Watch him, Bruce. I got you. Stuff that in his mouth. Right. When I come right open, it's like a bull. Oh, he bit me! Stop biting. What's going on? Now, where are you in the room? I'm in the bathtub. Good thinking. Now, look here. I'm going to blow the lock off. If he didn't tie your hands, hold your ears. One, two. Give me that gun. Hmm? 
Only a husband can blow the lock off a bathroom with his wife in a bathtub with nothing on and her, and her toe stuck in a pipe. Now, call me a prude if you like. Uh, you, uh, you stay right there. Don't make a move. You Honey, you all right? Oh, Rob. <laughs> Oh, you look so funny. Well, <laughs> you guys want to see something ridiculous? <laughs> yeah, uh, let me have the foot. It's stuck. Have the one. What are you doing? I'm measuring it. What for? Uh, tell me, is that toe similar to the one that's stuck in the pipe? <laughs> well, of course it is. Why? Wouldn't want to nip off any of this little piggy. <laughs> but that's the one that went to market. Well, can you snap it up a little? We'd like to see some of that show. Here we are. Have you off in no time. <laughs> Is there any a particular reason you're sawing so slowly? The best one. I'm 75 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid mustache. Honey, don't ever buy any of that indelible eyebrow pencil again. Why? You plan to continue penciling on mustaches? I don't know what I'm talking about. Look, now, how can we get that stupid thing off her toe? A jeweler saw. Oh, well, do you have one? Oh, I got all kinds of little things in this little old toolbox. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, I wish I had one of those. <laughs> Well, honey, you can't go clopping around a theater with that chromium faucet or whatever it is on your foot. But we'll never get tickets to this show again. Oh, Rob, let's try to salvage a part of the weekend. Well, honey, you mean you want to go to the theater with that thing on your foot? Well, I... Look, I could bandage it up and people would just think I have a sprained ankle. Well, I'm game if you are. Well, sure. We can go to the hospital after the show. But you, can you stand that thing on your toe for another three hours? Oh, easy. It's almost become a part of me. <laughs> I walked out of the hotel with a bandage that big. I looked like I had gout. Well, now, wait a minute. I don't understand. Now you're telling me you went to the show, and before you said you didn't. We didn't go to the show. Yeah, but you just we said... We went to the theater, but we were just too embarrassed to go in. Well, why? Well, we got into the lobby. It was just before curtain time. And who do we almost run into but a theater party from our church? Minister and all. Charles Brown. And half the flock. It was just too embarrassing. So we went right to the hospital. Well, you could have explained the bandage. <gasps> I know. Well, then why don't you go in? Because Rob didn't think he could explain his mustache. <laughs> you mean you still had it on? He didn't use my eyebrow pencil. It was a laundry marker. I tried uh, soap, cold cream, benzene, alcohol. Well, how'd you finally get it off? I didn't get it off. Well, it's not there. <laughs> I put makeup over it. I didn't think of makeup till I got back to the hotel. You know who you look like? David Niven. Ben Turpin. Ben Turpin. <laughs>